Yo, what is good, YouTubes? This is your boy in the NYC. It's me, Ray, and this is the EDCC that is the Everyday City Carry. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Wii Knife Gava. Flipped it off camera like a noob. So, I'm going to give you guys a proper one right there. I've really been enjoying carrying this, and I'm about to let it go pretty soon. So, definitely, we had to check it out. First, we're going to talk about the aesthetics of this knife. This knife was designed by Rafal Bretsky. Bretsky? Uh, I'm not sure if I'm butchering that name or not, but it is pretty, pretty dope looking, man. You've got this sort of geometric, futuristic looking pattern all over this knife. And the pocket clip matches, the, the touch of the bronzed anodized hardware looks really dope. I like the way the backspacer look. Even the blade carries this sort of geometric touch. One thing I do want to talk about that I noticed is the backspacer goes all the way around and I can't force my meat into this hole to cut myself with my index finger or any finger for that matter. So I really like that safety uh, touch if I want to call it that, with the backspacer. I think a lot of knives, 200 plus, you just come with that. I've definitely cut myself a few times going into that with the blade being like uncovered. I don't know if that's the right word for it, but I really, really like that feature here. Next up, we're going to talk about the action, which is very snappy and enjoyable. This is one of those flippers that you're going to flip all day and it's not going to hurt your index finger. You can push button this but I think that light switching is preferred in my opinion you do have some lock bar uh, tension if you put pressure on this you're gonna have a difficult time opening the Wii knife Gava so you'll want to put your finger on that little indentation on the lock bar but other than that you can flip this thing all day it is so enjoyable so the blade length on this guy is 3.25 inches, a little bit bigger than what I'd like. I like three inch or below because I live in New York City. Knife hell. Uh, this is CPM 20 CV blade steel. CPM 20 CV can be found on many knives today and is made by the US based Crucible Industries. M390, 204P and 20CV are all durable steels that sacrifice ease of sharpening. Now in my experience with this steel is I basically just cut cardboard and cut the ends of garbage bags that we tie onto drawers for recyclables. That's about it. And for me, it performed adequately. Now I was talking about how beautiful the handle scales look. The handle material is titanium. This is a titanium frame lock flipper. And uh, it just looks absolutely amazing, man. It fits well in the hand and we can talk about ergos right here. The ergonomics of this knife are absolutely amazing, at least for my small fish paw hands. I get a four finger fish paw grip on it. And uh, yeah, it's just very comfortable, man. The little indentation or little cutout on the top of the blade actually lends itself to stopping your thumb from moving a little bit. It's not like jimping, but it does help a tiny bit. And you can get a lot of cool grips and comfortable grips on this. It's just very enjoyable and that ties into how good the action is because if a knife is comfortable in the hand, you're gonna wanna flip it over and over. Now for the weight, you're looking at 3.73 ounces. Um, I don't know if that's heavy or not, but uh, I can tell you this, this knife is so comfortable that I hardly notice the weight in the pocket or in the hand. And uh, you do have weight reduction on both sides of the scales on this one. Now for the pocket clip, you do have decent tension on this, not going to rip your jeans up. It's not deep carry because it is a machined clip, but it does fit well with the design, which gets high marks for me. 
now of course the most important thing is the price you're looking at 236 dollars so for a wee knife that has good ergos great action a cool design in my opinion from a designer new designer i think maybe i haven't checked that rafael bretsky with a cool name cool insignia on the blade nice finish i think 236 dollars is worth it man You've got a CPM 20 CV blade titanium frame lock flipper, even bronze anodized hardware. So I think Wii has definitely knocked it out of the park with this one. And I'm going to give this one a go. This is your boy in the NYC. It's me, Ray, and this is the EDCC saying peace. Yo, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon so we can squat up in the comments.